maybe do a, a castle because castles are super fun and let's maybe do a human one and human castles are not difficult it's just like in reality, you want to, when you're thinking about your castle, you're going to want to think about a defensive position. You clearly don't want to put your castle in a flat valley. Uh, there's not much defenses unless you're going to build the mound. Uh, normally, you don't want to have to excavate all this uh, material to create a giant mound to build your castle on. You might want to use a natural hill, a mountain, a a rock shelf, whatever it is you want to use. So that way you don't have to move as much material, as much manpower, whatever, to kind of carry that out. So again, use a mountain uh, or a hill to create uh, that natural defense. And so we'll kind of pick one. And I we haven't done anything grayish, so maybe I'll pick a grayish looking mountain. This dark gray mountain will work just fine. I'll put it in. Yes, if you have any questions, feel free to ask Cheryl. All right, so I'll first pick a mountain that I want, a size that might work well. Let's go with this one. And we're going to pick a castle. And I think there's some really nice stamps in here that have uh, some castles. So let's pick a couple. Now, I do think there's just a straight up castle in here somewhere. Let me type in castle. I think there is one. Uh, this one right here, this human castle too. And I really like this one. It's kind of a got has kind of a gothic feel to it uh, I kind of like it and it's kind of a great personally it's a great mountain I like or a great stamp I really like the overall height how tall the hill how tall the walls are you have a gatehouse right here with some stairs leading up into it and you got like a buttress holding kind of this side of this wall you've got a series of towers so it's a really nice stamp works great I really like this one and of course just line up the line work so put it on top of the hill now if you don't like uh, the colors you can just change it with HSBC so that's up to you I might make this one just a little bit lighter because it's dark just like that dark mountain so I can increase the brightness just a hair if I want just to make it pop out just a little bit more so castles are of course is a wonder so I always go back to castle over here I'm gonna boost the size up and now there are a couple options that you can go about going with a castle there's a series of defenses that are available that you can use. And one of them is what's called a, a barbican. Now, I don't think once cannons were invented, they were kind of dropped and not used anymore. So just due to military advancements, barbicans didn't, they don't no longer create them. So I'll just show you what a barbican looks like if I can create one. First, we'll just take a bridge. We'll do some fun stuff with a castle. I'll just take this first bridge like this. And I'm going to line it up right against here, up against the castle. So it goes right into the gate. So that's your first step right there. We're going to do that one. Next, I'm going to create a barbican. And with the barbican, I think I can just use a tower or use two towers. And maybe, let me just double check what my options are here real quick. One moment. A barbican is like an additional gatehouse that stands outside from the actual gatehouse, which is attached to the walls. So a barbican is a separate, kind of a separate piece from it. And I'm not sure what exactly to use for a barbican. There are a couple options. I, have, I can stack together a couple towers to make a barbican. So I could try that. So I could take a couple of these towers and just put them side by side and then put a gate maybe next to it. So I'll put two of these side by side. As a matter of fact, maybe even three might not be a bad idea. So I have three here. And let's see where the options are. Sometimes you have to piece things together because they don't have what you're looking for. And that's okay. All right, we'll put this. I'm going to put some of these on top. And I might want to change the color. So we've already got this bluish theme. So maybe I want to stick with it. Or you can have like an or ornate gate where it's actually red instead of blue and that's just fine so i'll just create a little barbican right here and see i put these two to, these are four stamps together five stamps together let's go ahead and unselect that and then put this right here up against here so you have a little bit of a barbican and i'm going to group them as well so that way I, they're all on the same layer i'm going to put it up against here like this and so there's like an additional bit layer of defense there and of course just take that same gate same bridge put it in front 
here like this. And so you kind of have a barbican leading up to the castle. So it's an extra layer of defense. And if you feel like uh, it doesn't connect with the ground well enough, it's always great to go in and just take a couple mountains and just put them underneath. And that way they kind of match together. So I could go ahead and put this mountain right here, put one right here, put another one right here. And you can even put one in front of it too. So let's put one maybe in the back right here like this and maybe put a couple up in the front. So it's not just one little mountain. There we go. Okay, and we'll put a couple in the back as well. One right there. Okay. Oopsie. In the back you go. There we go. Okay. There we have our castle and you have your defenses, of course. And you can put moats around your castle if you want. Uh, this terrain is very rocky and mountainous, not a lot of flat spots. So there's not a lot of opportunity for troops to gain formations and stuff like that. So it makes uh, the assault kind of difficult. So these are things that you can kind of add to kind of create. I understand that the angle is a little off on the Barbican than it is from there. And that's okay. It doesn't have to be straight. Sometimes there's curvatures into the walkways that lead up to a gatehouse or a Barbican. And that's on purpose. It's so that uh, if it curves to a little bit to uh, the right, and then you have some defenses in the back here, uh, the shield is on the generally on the left side of the attacker or the person holding the weapon in the shield. And so that way, if you have it curving a little bit to uh, the right, they have to rotate, the invader has to rotate their body fully to the right to bring their shield up to defend themselves, forcing them to sidestep. So think about positioning when you're doing your defenses, super important. So it just kind of does curve slightly a little bit because we have some things here. And of course you can always just rotate if you want to add more curvature, but just know that you're gonna to have to change the ground underneath if you want it to match out correctly. So just factor those things in. So if you want, you can do that. I'm gonna undo that. I kind of like it just the way it was before. So let's put it back to the way it was. And you can also throw in some trees if you want. I like to throw in just a couple trees. So I'll throw in, let's see here. We've used those white ones last. Uh, this brown one might work. I'm not sure, let's take a look. And of course you want to factor in the scale. Oh, this tree is fairly large, the size of a whole gate. And I like to put them again, overlap things. First, let's go ahead and take one of these stones, one of these right here and put it in the front like this because I don't want it to be just this flat line. I want there to be some kind of, some stamps to kind of make it look like uh, it's perched up against the rocks. So I put these stamps up against here like this, and that way they kind of, make sure you line up the line work, and you're kind of fixing some of that line that goes straight against the mountain, and that looks super weird. So we won't go with that. Let me t pick some trees that I want, make sure they're the right size, scale them up. And I'll same thing, I'll just place them kind of rando. It's nice to put a couple in a cluster, like three or four. Again, kind of hide the line work of your mountains. Put them up against here, or maybe a couple against here. And maybe even against here. So you have a couple mountains with some trees because you want to include your landscape. Okay, and I think I think that's it. You, you can add a road if you want with the path tool leading up to here and going into the gate. So I'll go ahead and group this and we'll call 